a new day a new model as you might have noticed most of these large language model providers they not only release the uh, instruction tuned chat model but they also tend to release the code model i think only mistral is the largest biggest known company which hasn't really released a code model too if i'm right but most of the other ones uh, the big ones i mean they always release a code model separately too in this video i am going to introduce you to this brand new model code coin 1.57 billion model and we will also get it installed locally and then we will play it around on different coding tasks before i do that let me give you a quick overview of this new model so code coin 1.5 is a code specific version of coin 1.5 it is a transformer based decoder only language model pre-trained on a large amount of data of codes it has very strong code generation capabilities and competitive performance across a series of benchmarks. It supports long context understanding and generation with context length of 64,000 tokens. It supports 92 coding languages. That's right, yes. It also gives excellent performance in text to SQL, bug fixes, and etc. And we will see some of the bug fixes and code repair shortly. So, Code Quen 1.5 is based on Quen 1.5, which is a language model series that includes decoded language models of different model sizes. It is trained on 3 trillion tokens of data of codes and includes group query attention for efficient inference. Now, there are a lot of good things which are happening in this model, and they also have a project page which you can visit. I will drop the link to this model card in video's description. But let's now Try to get it installed on our local Windows system where I have one GPU card and then I have 32 GB of memory and then we will play it around. So this is my uh, LM Studio, the tool which I'm going to use in order to get this installed. Launch LM Studio, just type code coin, press enter and you see that they just released it today a few hours ago. And then you can download it on your local system. I have already downloaded the maximum one available but the rest of the lot is bigger than my system. Now, this is the file. If you click on folder icon, which is already available, and then click on these three dots, then you can load the model from middle. Let's wait for it to load. The model is loaded and we are all set to test it out. So I will be testing it on few of the code summarization, task, code repair, code generation and few other things. So let's try it out. The first prompt I am asking it is to summarize the following Python function in one sentence. So let's see how it performs. Let's press enter. There you go. So it definitely is a factorial function that calculates the factorial of a given number and, and you can see that it is very, very terse and compact. Spot on. Let's uh, try to check out another thing. So I'm asking it to provide a brief summary of the purpose of this JavaScript function. Yep, it is a palindrome function, which is taking a string as an argument checks if it is a palindrome, which means the string reads the same backward as forward. So it is also explaining it. What is palindrome? Spot on. And remember, this is just um, a quantized version. And then it is also telling us, you know, at the end that the function then checks if the original string is equal to the reverse string. Amazing. Let's try out another prompt. Now, I'm asking it to write a concise summary of this C++ uh, snippet. And then you can see the code of C++ where I'm just defining this binary search int. And then I'm also going through the um, loop. So... For example, if you have just joined a company and you are encountered with this code, you don't know what this code is doing, you can simply throw this code into this coin, uh, code coin and then let's see what it does. There you go. So it is explaining what this code is doing, that it is an implementation of the binary search algo in C++. It takes an array ARR with two indexes and a value the function repeatedly divides the array into halves until it finds the desired value of missing. Okay, let's try out some. So these were some of the code summarization. Now let's try out some of the code generation tasks. I'm asking it generate a Python function that calculates the area of a rectangle given its length and width. Yep, that is true. So that's the true function. 
um, plus it also has given us a very short synopsis of this and let's try out another language i'm asking it create a javascript function that checks if a number is even or odd we just go a little bit up so this is a javascript function check it has even given the name to this function and you can see that it is spot on and then towards the end as usual it is giving us the synopsis of the code let's see if it can generate a c plus plus code so i'm saying generate a c plus plus class representing a basic calculator with method for all these arithmetic operations so i'm just checking what's object oriented programming here there you go so you can see it has defined the class and if i go up a little it would sometime it just get stuck there you go it's a basic calculator class in which it is just adding subtraction multiplication and then it is also uh, specifying the return values from there amazing and it is doing only what you're asking it to do nothing more nothing less which is which i like and we has to we have to be uh, quite to the point in the code generation let me ask it to write a ruby script that reads an array of integers and prints a sum of all positive numbers there you go so it also understands ruby and then so this is a ruby function which is totally correct and then it also has even given us this example usage plus the synopsis of the code now let's check out some of the code translation tasks so in this one i'm asking it translate this python function into javascript let's see there you go so this is a uh, python function and it has generated this javascript function so let me show you python function again this is a python and this is a javascript with all the brackets and stuff and then it is again given uh, giving us the whole summary of the code towards the end let's check out another translation task in this one i'm asking it convert this java method into python so other way around yep, that is totally correct this is a factorial one and now let's check if it can do um, c to ruby translation so i'm just asking it to convert this c code into ruby there you go amazing stuff okay now let's try to run some of the code repair tasks In this task, I'm asking it that identify and fix the issue in this Python function. So I'm just defining a Python function and let's see if it is able to identify the error there. Okay, I think it got it right. It is saying that the sum of queries function is intended to calculate this. However, the current code has an off by one error when it, where it excludes n itself from the summation. So it should be corrected version is n plus one. Amazing stuff. Okay, let's see if it is able to fix the Java code. In this one, I'm asking it find and correct the error in this JavaScript code. Yeah, the corrected version includes the last character of the string in the loop by using the corrected range of i from 0 up to str dot length. Yeah, totally correct. And lastly, let's check if it can do the Ruby uh, code repair. So again, I'm just asking it to repair the bug in the Ruby method. There you go. It is also again, it, you can just read the last line to see if it has done because I'm already aware of this code. So this has also spot on because it is also um, telling us to ensure the function correctly determines if two strings are anagrams of each other. Amazing. As it is also quite good in text to SQL prompt, so let's check it out one text to SQL. In this one, I'm asking it to retrieve the total number of orders and the average order amount for each customer from the orders table grouped by customer ID where the order amount is greater than $100. Yep, totally correct. Amazing stuff. And let me ask one final text to SQL. So in this one, I'm asking it list all employees who joined the company after January 1st, 2020 are in the sales department. There you go. You can see that it is awesome. Beautiful stuff. Great. So 
really impressed by this model very small very lightweight yet even in the quantized version and i used a very low quantization by the way it is it has performed awesomely well so i'll drop the link in model uh, model card in video description let me know what do you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you are already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching